An important goal of biotechnology is to create beneficial mutations. EMS mutagenesis is a method for the insertion of random mutations into the genome of organisms. EMS as a mutagenic substance is used in forward genetics to discover the function of genes. Let's have a look at a typical screen for a desired phenotype of crop plants. Tomatoes make a good example for that. The seeds are treated with a mutagen such as EMS which results in random point mutations across the genome. When the plants are grown this generation undergoes self-fertilization. In the next daughter generation one can screen for interesting phenotypes. Maybe a certain color, shape or volume of the fruit is desired. Genes are encoded in the DNA. The building blocks for this are four different nucleosides. Thymine pairs together with adenine, whereas guanine forms hydrogen bonds with cytosine. What is the role of EMS, which is short for ethyl methane sulfonate? Here is the molecular structure of EMS. This substance is highly mutagenic, capable to introduce random mutations into the DNA. Usually cytosine pairs with guanine. Upon EMS treatment the guanine is alkylated. The consequence of this chemical modification is that guanine can now form hydrogen bonds together with thymine. After DNA replication this results in a nucleoside substitution. The GC base pair was converted to an AT base pair. These random mutations occur in different regions throughout the whole genome. Mutations can disrupt the function of genes or modify gene products in various manners. EMS as a potent mutagen is used to screen for beneficial mutations. Thousands of crop plant seeds are mutagenized with EMS which results in random mutations. This creates a variety of different genomes with unique alterations. In the following plant generations gene modifications lead to potential changes in the phenotype of plants. Now one can screen for the phenotype of interest and breed with this individual. That phenotype might be anything from an overall increase in the yield to an optical modification or even the ability to grow under conditions of water limitation. For more videos with scientific content check out the channel and make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to stay updated. Thanks.